And lastly, you were mentioning earlier that the FMCG brands spend around 2%. Who is spending the most who are not the telecoms? So in other words, who are the kind of leaders in this pack in terms of digital? Uh, well, banking is, is the evolving category, and that's yeah. for sure. Uh, Spending what, 10, 20 uh, percent? Banking is still between five or maybe less than that, uh, mm -hmm. way less than that. Uh, so telecom uh, is safer to say that they are spending about 10 percent of their funds yeah. uh, or the investment in digital media. Yeah. Uh, banking is around five. I'll be lucky if in some of the countries if yeah. we get that kind of investment. Uh, FMCG is around 2 percent. But what's really... Uh, strange and now it's not strange actually it's uh, the traditional agencies have a reason to hold the funds because whatever they produce yeah, if they focus they you, on the funds. absolutely it's the, it's the interest yeah. they or the commission they make uh, so yeah. they have the reason to keep the clients focus towards traditional media yeah. uh, so what we call them is the dinosaurs and the time will come yeah. if not later it's sooner than that is when these dinosaurs will roll over and we'll start realizing that in a country like Kenya there is a 44 percent connectivity to digital devices yes and the cost of the bandwidth has gone down yes. the cost of the mobile is reach forty dollars Yes. Smartphone. Yes. And yet we're getting only two or three percent funds towards the media for digital, which is very strange. Yes. Uh, so when will the dam break? If you had a crystal ball, how, when do you think this flip will occur when the amounts will go up and that penny will drop? So uh, that's actually a very interesting question because uh, this year we, we started pushing mm. the ball uh, towards can the shift happen now? Yes. And when we started saying, saying that the shift needs to happen now, we were like, saying the traditional uh, agency environments are not tuned or geared up to be the lead agency yeah. uh, for the brands. And we made some of the pitches in terms of how can a digital agency become the lead agency for the brand uh, and simple focuses being the way we understand uh, the analytics and the customer behavior and this is 24-7 on the go. Yeah. We don't wait for the focus group and the pre-test to happen yeah. at the end of the it's year or real once time. a year. Real time, you know. Yeah. From a demand generation point of view and understanding what kind of market dynamics are happening, mm -hmm. it's all real time. Yes. So what we started doing for our clients is put that in perspective yes. and don't wait for the campaigns to over. Show yes. them the real time and the behavior that is changing because of that. Yeah. And you will be ready for the entire year of dynamics in terms of campaigns to be to go to market, yes. uh, activations of the ground, social engagements, and everything. Come back to the hard question though. Short. One sentence answer, when, when will the dam break? When will the shift happen in terms of the balance of spend? Uh, still very far away. I see... Five years? Uh, I, I'm more uh, optimistic. Uh, optimistic about yeah. such thing. I would say next two years. Uh, yeah. And considering that starting of this year, we've already made a couple of pitches to make the digital agencies at the lead agency. I would look at next two years in terms of... Uh, making the shift at least towards uh, double the spends of what's happening at this point of time.